Good morning, my HCG peeps. It's Maddie. And today is round two, peep two, BLCD four. And I lost 1.6. I released 1.6. I have mixed feelings about that. Here's why. I'm glad it went down. I wish it had been more. And I am 0.2 away from where I loaded. I am now at 232.6. And when I loaded, I was at 232.4. Now, I said I was going to count anything below 235. So, I'm in the right direction. I've lost. I'm good. I can't do the math on that right now because that hurts my head. What is it? 2.6? Whatever. Yeah, 2.6. So, yay. I want more. 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 Um, so, I'm going to talk about two tips real quick that I am trying new. Okay. I hear people talk about this all the time, and they put it into their regular regimen, their daily thing. My phone just beeped for no reason. And so I tried it last night. This is probably not something I need. This woke me up. <laughs> I know it's the TMIT, but... Y'all have been talking about it. I've heard people talking about it. And, yeah, I thought, well, maybe it'll help me, you know, get rid of the detox situation and the headache, right? Yeah, that was, that's, uh, apparently, if I'm going to use it, I need to use a very weak cup of tea. So, good to know. The other thing is, I was cooking for the week, and the tomatoes did not look good at Safeway. I bought one, but it's even yesterday it still wasn't ripe. So I had this in my cabinet. Kat and I went to Whole Foods, and these were on sale. And um, I think this was a year and a half ago when I tried the pharmaceutical, and um, and failed. So I've had this this whole time. It's good until. July 2012. So I thought, all right, I'll try it. The ingredients are just strained organic tomatoes. That's it. Sim what is it? Organic strained tomatoes. That's it. Just tomatoes. So I used that. And what I did was I measured a cup out. There's no sugar, there's no salt, there's nothing in there but tomatoes. So, um, that was great. Uh, I cooked with it, and it was delicious. Um, I made my hamburger and tomato thing. I did add spinach, so I know I'm mixing veggies. But, um, I just kind of make that a main meal of the day. I also made an onion cabbage mix thing. However, the 13 year old thought it looked delicious and he went over and ate it without asking me while I was letting it cool before I put it in the containers to, to put it away. So now I have to go to the store and get more stuff so that I can make it again. Anyway, so that, um, that those are my two new things that I tried. I'll let you know how they go <laughs> and I'm certainly going to lighten up on the tea. Um, but the tomato thing was delicious and this is my last jar. So next week I'm going to have to go to Whole Foods and get more because that was scrumptious. Um, let's see what else is going. Oh, I officially no longer fit into a size 20. It's become slovenly and indecent. I am not the kind of person who likes my clothes to fit. I like baggy clothes and the twenties were really, when I started the diet at 261.2, um, like I was bulging in my twenties. 
I really should have gone to a 22, but I refused. I like was having trouble breathing in my 20s. So um, I was very happy that they became looser and looser during the last round. But now um, post load, it's like my legs have lost weight and my thighs, which it's a good place to go. Um, so I'm gonna step back and show you my little outfit today. We have one, see I don't like that. Oh, this is why I hardly ever wear this shirt because I need to pin that. Um, I hardly, oh, oh, we have one last 80 degree day. Tomorrow it's gonna be in the 60s. So I thought, okay, I will save my one pair of size 18 pants that I like. It's a little bit loose and baggy, but it's comfy on me. So I will save that um, for tomorrow. <laughs> and um, then I'll keep rewashing it all week. Um, and I have big baggy shirts and I just wear tank tops underneath them. But this, it's not the most flattering outfit, but um, it is, these are size 18s. And they are a little bit loose, see? Loose. I like loose. I do not like things to fit on me. Um, and then this is a 1X, where I was in a 3X. So, can you see it? Can you see me? Hi! So, this is smaller. Not as small as I want to be, but smaller. So, I wanted to say that um, is a good thing. That's a yay. And uh, I wanted to say a couple things real quick. Um, so Cal Plum did a great vlog and uh, Debaloo's vlog hipped me over to it and it was fantabulous. Uh, it really is uh, straight up um, and talks about a lot of the diet and she's been successful. She's now maintaining. She's no longer doing HCG um, but she's supporting all of us still which I really appreciate and um, so I think everybody should go watch it. I think everybody, so Kyle Plum, S-O-C-A-L-P-L-U-M. And she's adorable and um, just sweet as can be, and, uh, but very straight up. <laughs> and I like, I like that. So um, I say go watch it. Um, she talks about not getting so obsessed about the number on the scale and her experience with some of that. And I think it's great advice. Um, when you read pounds and inches, um, which I did ever so long ago, um, she she really talks about it's not just pounds, you guys. It's not just the scale. It's inches too. And there's times where you don't lose weight for a long, long time, but your body is shifting. And um, I really appreciated hearing that. I, I want, I should mark that as a favorite so I can go back and re-listen to it on the days when I'm stalled and um, tweaking out about it. And really, um, I think the thing is, you got to do it all to stabilize because that's what she did. And she's super uber successful at this. So thank you, SoCal Plum. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Devalu, for hipping me over to there. Um, there's a whole bunch of people loading. I hope you have fun. Um, but I know the second day is hard, and I, I'm pretty sure most of you are on your second day. So keep going. Good job. And um, let's see, who else did I want to shout out? It was good to see just Granny. That was nice. Um, she's going to load in a couple weeks, and then we'll all be on P2 together. And there's uh, several people loading next week, so that's good. Um, so it's going to be fun, 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 fun. And I think that's all I need to report today. I wish you all big releases, easy stabilization, and happy, happy maintenance, and happy Sunday. Yay! Uh, that's it. I don't have any cool music or fun ending. Just me!